first in a series of GH Hyper Classics where we get to interview the very best of Ghanaian personalities doing all to put Ghana on the map. Today, I happen to find myself in the beautiful office of business mogul, Mr. Kojo Jones. Mr. Kojo Jones. GH Hyper. Pleasure having you on my show. You're welcome. Very beautiful office. Thank you. We would like to engage you more. No problem. I'll do for you. Okay, so I'm here with the business mogul, I call him, Mr. Uh, Kojo Jones. Well, four companies under his umbrella and still counting. But before I delve into such companies or those companies, he was recently in the news for a very big reason, which was he invited to the 21st African Business Summit at the Abad Business School, which was a great achievement. My, myself, I've never posted even a picture getting 1,000 likes on Instagram, but when I posted that story, it had about 2,000 plus likes on Instagram. That tells you the audience were very happy. Mr. Kojo Jones, yes, sir. the Harvard thing, how did it come about? And uh, oh, okay. uh, tell me what you went to do in Harvard, how did the whole program go on that? Let's get talking on Harvard. Um, I, think, I think the Harvard uh, invitation came as a result of uh, the student, I think, having to deliberate as to young entrepreneurs actually having an impact in the continent and uh, God being so good, um, I think my name was part of those who were actually doing stuff on the continent and by virtue of that they reached out to my office and then we, we took it up and that's how we got to Harvard okay. yeah, to, to speak about um, entrepreneurship, uh, real estate development challenges that we face as entrepreneurs and all of that. Which was it was great. It was a great experience. Okay, I also saw the likes of um, rich young Ghanaian and up on media on the chair. Yeah. And I saw the vibe. I realized, hmm, you guys are really bonding well. You know, in Ghana, when this guy has money, this man has <laughs> money. There's some kind of very But I saw that in young entrepreneurs like yourself and uh, up on the can you tell us about your relationship with Chad? Well, my relationship with Nana Pame is brilliant. I mean, I've known him since London. He's a, he's a good friend. Uh, we happen to be in the same industry. Um, I think he moved back to Ghana before I did. Um, and he's done more projects. Uh, but at the end of the day, we are all Ghanaians. We all have one objective, and that objective is moving Ghana forward and contributing towards infrastructural development of, of, of Ghana and actually empowering the youth as well, letting them know that it's possible. So um, we have a very, very solid, solid relationship. Um, we haven't done business together. I mean, we have done business together, but I think we haven't collaborated on projects together. Um, but that's something we'll do in the future. I mean, we're in the same industry. He's a friend, he's a, friend, he's a brother. And uh, yes, we, I look forward to doing a lot of things with him as well in the future. I still on business. Um, you have Empire Domus. Um, Empire Concrete, Empire Tower. This story, can you, in a summary, tell us what? Um, well, Empire Concrete is a mother company. We supply ready mix concrete, um, as opposed to you know previous years where the system was used to mix in concrete manually. We put it through a machine, you know, which uh, calculates or puts together the specific mix for each specific project and then we supply to respective uh, contractors and we also use them for some of our own ongoing projects as well. Um, Empire Domus was set up to focus on the luxury development uh, side of, of, of the business uh, to manage and control that. And Empire Tower is just one of our projects that we're working on at the moment. Which the, is, the tower, does it involve the hotel? Uh, you, you're building a hotel? Uh, no, that's a separate project, but Empire Tower is a service department um, that is going to introduce uh, upscale living, a blend of uh, fashion, lifestyle, and also providing accommodation for those who can afford, afford it. Yeah. Alright, so the big one, Carabao. Uh, I realized ah, I see Carabao in Ghana with a big billboard around the Holiday Inn. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah, how did Carabao come to Ghana? You know, I was wondering, and one, one person told me, oh, there's one young guy called Kojo Jones. Yeah. Yeah, so I was wondering, how do you knew that partnership? 
Uh, I think my involvement with Carabao started from uh, me trying to find a, a football team for one of my adopted sons. Okay. And by virtue of my relationship and my network in the UK, um, I was exposed to the owners of the products because they are highly involved in the Premier League in the uh, UK. So I said to myself, um, this is a brand that is not in the market, it's not in Africa yet, so let me take advantage of that opportunity and bring it to the, into the market. And I mean, they were very supportive and that's how Carabao happened. It was just by virtue of relationship and network. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I see interesting story on your business aspect. Now, yeah. uh, let's get to know your family life. How uh, Kojo Jones grew up, school, you know, you have some old students saying, hey, this Kojo Jones like it. you. People would like to know yeah. where you grew up, the schools you attended. Yeah, yeah I think um, for junior secondary school, I went to, well, I started from Tema Parents. Oh, okay, TPA. Yes, in Tema. Then I moved to Daras Preparatory, okay. where I had my junior secondary uh, school education. Then I moved to Akosomo International. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I have most of my guys who attended Akosomo International. Where they go? Yeah, I believe you know them. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then I moved on to London, where I studied law, did my business diploma, my master's in oil and gas management and uh, my mediation courses and, uh, okay. and all that, yeah. Okay, is, is Mr. Kojo Jones married? Ah. <laughs> no, I'm not married. I'm not married. Of course, a whole lot of girls DM me, hey, is he single? Is he that? I said, wait, the right time will come out. I'll ask him. Well, okay, you heard for yourself, he's not married, but maybe somebody <laughs> special is there. I'm not married. <laughs> All right, so, it's been an interesting conversation. Mr. Kuyo Jones, yeah. there are a lot of youths that look up to you. They, they send me tons of messages. Please, we'd like to meet him. We'd like to do this. We'd like to do this. Yeah. How are those, is, is your door, how are your doors open for, for such people to learn from you? Or you have something for them, like in, in, in a world of entrepreneurship? You know, uh, when I set up my business, I realized that and by, by the grace of God, things were going according to plan. And I realized that uh, a lot of young entrepreneurs had a lot of questions and they wanted us to get to know how to make it in business, the challenges you face and all that. You know, I said to myself, let me set up a, a foundation um, which would focus on a few areas, which is the KJM Foundation. So KGM. KJM. KJM Foundation. Oh, okay. So even if you go online, it's kjmfoundation.com. And by virtue of my relationship and my network outside the country, I can leverage on that, bring in some money with the money that I put in as well, and we can have a better impact as to what we're trying to do. So we focus on three areas. The first area is bringing clean drinking water to less privileged societies. Um, it will interest you to know that certain parts of Ghana, you know, struggle to even have clean drinking water as we speak. Uh, so we're trying to tackle that issue. Uh, the second one is to focus on school supplies. Okay. Uh, as you know, the educational system has a few challenges here and there. We want to step in and help uh, close that gap to enhance education. Because you know the power of education. And that's one way we can impact Africa and the continent. Um, by educating and enhancing, not just educating, but enhancing the, the value of education in Ghana. And the last one is youth empowerment, which comes to the question that you asked. Our focus is to empower the youth, take them through training, uh, give them an opportunity to learn and understand, uh, give them a voice as a second one, and also help tune their mindset to the realities of business and helping them understand the dynamics of business and how to go about things. Uh, we want a more productive youth. Uh, to be more active in entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship shapes economies, you know, it shapes continents. When you look out, when you look around the world, look at other continents, you realize that entrepreneurship has played a huge role in the development of a lot of countries. And that's one thing, something we have to encourage here in Ghana and in Africa. So I just thought it wise that let me set this up, um, get the right team behind it, manage it and try as much as possible to transfer knowledge and skills at the same time, also create a platform that can fund 
SMEs to that. And you know, for us, it's a contribution, it's a way of giving back, and it's a way of empowering our own people as well. Wow. Interesting. So you heard it for yourself. His daughter are OP. He has a foundation. Check it out, and then get in touch with him. His daughters are always open for yeah. young entrepreneurs, yeah. for young, vibrant people who really like to make it in our country. We, yeah. we have a few projects that will be rolling out soon. Wow. And once we roll that out, people get to know about these various projects okay. and they can engage themselves, get involved. And Any date set for? No, no, we're still, like I said, the foundation is, 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 is new. new. So we're, we're still at the very early stages. Okay. We're actually developing the programs that we would, would, would roll out for the foundation, okay. especially for the youth empowerment stuff. Okay. But we also partner with ongoing programs okay. that focus on youth empowerment. Okay. So you realize that you see me on a lot of youth empowerment programs, yeah. we speaking and helping them to, yeah. to put the program out there. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. But we are going to roll out our own program very yeah. soon and focus solely on how we can empower the youth of our country so that one day when they take uh, positions of leadership, we won't have the problems that we're seeing now. We'll see a more vibrant Ghana, we'll see a more industrialized system, okay. you know, and uh, leaders with a different sort of mindset, drive, and passion. Wow, interesting, interesting. So, Mr. Koyo Jones happens not only to be business minded, but I do see him on some entertainment platforms once in a while. <laughs> Example, the Miss Universe Ghana, he was a judge on, on that show. Um, business blend with entertainment. Um, Miss Ghana Universe, like Miss Universe Ghana, you were a judge on that platform and all that. Yeah. How, how was how was the how was the vibe, the experience? It was it was a fantastic ex experience. Your first time being a judge. My it? first time being a wow. judge and being involved with the beauty pageant. Okay. It was it was awesome because it was Miss Universe and you know Miss Universe is up there. Uh, it was a humbling experience um, to 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 be involved in such a project. And I think we, we went to Thailand. So when I went to Thailand, she was she did you know fantastically well, and we're all proud of her. Um, but how it came about, it was just I was just there. I had a phone call, asked me if I'd like to be a judge at the show, and I said, why not? You know, you have to try new things sometimes. But that entertainment, and we need to understand where entertainment is going now. You know, it's, entertainment is now a business. It's a billion dollar industry. You know, so we're trying to also fuse our, uh, our strengths and what we can do in that industry and also help build that industry. When you look at Nigeria, they've taken entertainment to a whole other level. And why can't we do the same? I know we don't have the same numbers, but we can channel it in such a way that we can also have that impact. You know, and that's why when you asked to take this interview, I said, yes, why not? You're an upcoming blogger, you have a future, you, you want to get into the media space. And this is what we need to do. We need to empower ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Talking about empowering ourselves, do we see Mr. Koyo Jones setting up maybe a record label <laughs> or, or something like that to, to, to help the entertainment industry? Because people have talent, but there's no money to push, to push them. Like I said, we have a few programs that we have put it together. So um, I won't say no, okay. um, but there, there is some sort of interest I have in the entertainment sector. But I don't just want to get into the entertainment sector just for the sake of it. There should be a reason and there should be a drive and something to push and make an impact. And that's what we want to do wow. uh, when we get into that wow. I'm really loving this interview. Everything is seems like I really, really love this interview. Very nice gentleman, Mr. Koyo Jones. Mr. Koyo Jones, in the next five years, where do you see yourself? Uh, you know, when people ask me this question, it's a very, it's a very interesting yet humbling question for me. Um, I want to have more impact on, on society. Um, so you'd see me in places where I'd have the opportunity to have more impact. Um, I'm looking at expanding. And one of the reasons why I got into business is to create more employment. Um, so I seek to expand, create more employment and um, yeah, create a system that can help impact and better the lives of Africans and also put, put us on the map as much as I can. Wow, yeah. interesting, interesting. Um, you've won several awards. One I recall was the Emmy Young Achiever Award. 
which was 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 a great occasion, mm -hmm. and the night was just beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, any other awards um, you knew? Uh, well, I think the Glit uh, mm -hmm. Businessman of the wow. Year, Glit Businessman of the Year, yeah, okay. Business Executive of okay. the Year, wow. uh, the Emmys, okay. um, and I won a, another West African wow. okay. award. So you had for yourself a whole lot of laurels and still counting. Yeah. Um, Sekou so Jones, please look into the camera right. and tell the youth of today yeah. what it is to be successful and your advice for them. Because we see most of the youth now engage in so many deviant behaviors and which does not lead our nation to prosper. Okay, well, for me, to answer this question, I need to address it in two folds. Right? The first one is that the youth of our country. We need to be patient, focused and more diligent towards what we're trying to do. We understand that it's very difficult. We understand that things, that times are hard, but it doesn't mean that we need to engage in activities that are not within the bounds of the law. We can still make it and still stay within the bounds of the law. Just have a plan, a vision, work towards it, be determined to work towards it, understand that it takes a lot of hard work and also be very patient because you realize that patience is what answers a lot of questions and a lot of businessmen who have been successful will tell you that they've been very patient. Don't be scared to fail. Failure is part of being successful and that would be my advice to the youth on how to move forward and how to develop themselves. Network, engage yourself in productive activities that would help you grow and expand your knowledge and skills. Without that, you don't, you don't understand what is going on, you don't know what is happening in society. So try and enhance your, your capabilities, enhance your skills and knowledge about a lot of things and network as much as you can. And have a positive mindset and believe in yourselves. Believe that we Africans can also have that impact and make that change. And that's where we start from. Uh, on the second fold, I think that our government officials, and business executives and good businesses would have to also come together to help the youth to make that change or give that impact that they want to see within themselves. And it's a collaborative effort. The youth can do it on their own. They need the help of, of proper policies, the government should get involved, businessmen should come together, get involved, and let's support the youth. Once we have a youth with the right mindset and the right backing, we would see a much better Ghana and a much better Africa. Thank you. You heard from the CEO. It's been a wonderful interview. I'm so loving it, um, but our time is up. Um, I promise to come back to Mr. Kojo Jones again because we will have something to talk more on the foundation and etc cetera, etc cetera. we'll have so many things to talk about and i believe by that time there'll be a new baby um, aside the four that are already existing in this world of companies my name is steven mango popular known as gh hyper I was here with the crew thank you very much gh hyper classics first edition first in the series is mr Kojo jones and watch out for my exciting